Hi guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am doing a very short video about how to attribute emotes to an artist on Twitch. This is predominantly for people who stream or maybe you have a very small channel so that you can have emotes as well. And I'm going to show you how to do that in a step-by-step -step walkthrough. This is a new feature that was rolled out by Twitch in 2022, and they released a small article about it that gives you a little bit of information and has a very surface level FAQ. It is good to read these releases from Twitch, so I do recommend checking it out. I will link to it below the video for you guys. But I wanted to give a slightly more in-depth walkthrough that shows you how to do it from your creator dashboard because Twitch doesn't really have that up on here, or at least not that I could easily find. So, um, and if you guys have any other questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. So I'm going to walk you guys through as if we are just coming in completely fresh from the outside on Twitch. So we're going to start at your channel. Go ahead and pull your channel up and then click on your icon in the upper right and go to your creator dashboard. Now this should be really familiar to you. It's gonna open up your stream manager. Everybody's looks a little different and you're going to look at the left hand side or at least that's where my creator dashboard is. You might be moving yours around um, <laughs> and you're going to find a lot of different options. We're going to choose viewer rewards and then click on emotes. Now I have some empty emote slots in here, I'm pretty guilty about it, but it does tell you right at the top about these new artist badges and emote attributions, and those links take you to the page that I've linked below the video. Now you can see on the right hand side I have emotes I've already uploaded, but we're going to click on this plus sign and upload a new follower emote. So this works like any other uploader that you've ever used, and if you've been using Twitch for a long time, you're going to be really familiar with this, but if you're not, make sure that your emotes are 112 pixels or more, up to roughly 4,000 pixels. Now, if you're hiring an artist like me, you don't really have to worry about that sizing. We should be giving you appropriately sized files. I'm going to select one of the Demon Slayer emotes that we did as a Twitch request over on my Twitch channel, which is Jade the Otter Mage. It's a Nezuko with a heart, and because the auto resize button is checked, it is going to automatically resize that 112 pixel emote down. The next area, I'm going to name it heart because it's a heart emote, and then the new field is below that for emote attribution. Now, this is optional, but if you want to attribute the emote to somebody, which you should, you type in their Twitch username, select them, and it's going to tell you that it's pending. So for mine, I put in Jade the Otter Mage and it went immediately to pending. That is completely normal. That just means that you need to let your artists know that you have assigned these to them. That way they don't miss the notification from Twitch because I did not get any notification from Twitch. So you finish uploading it and then you can do more if you want. So I'm going to show you how to do an old one. On the right, I clicked on Taiga Glare, which is an old emote that we've been using for many, many years. And it gives you the same search field. So I'm going to type in Jade the Otter Mage because it's my emote. I'm going to select my own name <laughs> and I'm going to be done with it. And it once again tells you that it's pending, which is totally, totally fine. That's perfectly normal. Don't freak out when you see the yellow. So then what your artist is going to do is get notified. I didn't get any kind of really big notification from Twitch. They didn't send me an email, but they will tell you when you go to the emote attribution page that it's new. And if you scroll, I believe these are gonna be organized alphabetically. I click on the person who is attributing emotes to me, click on the drop down, and I can see the emotes and I can accept them. Now you can always decline. So for example, if you are an artist and somebody commissioned you and you're not really happy with your work or maybe you don't want to be associated with that streamer, you can always go back to that emote attribution page and tell it, I don't want this anymore. And remember, they do have the FAQs that they try to keep updated. And of course, you can always try to get in contact with Twitch support if you have problems. You're also welcome to contact me and I will do my best to make a video about whatever the new thing is. If you're interested in commissions or you need emote commissions, hit me up. I have custom emotes ready to go. I have emotes that you can just buy directly in my shop for $5 or less and get your stream ready for all the latest content. 
Here's some examples of what I do. Um, and my custom emotes start at $25. That is flat rate. And usually if you're following me on Twitter or Instagram, you'll see that I am offering specials, bundle discounts or discounts if I can also use them on my channel or offer them in my shop. So I'm always willing to give a deal. Please slide into my DMs if you're interested. And if you liked this video or found it helpful, please feel free to share it with another streamer or an artist to show them how to go and approve the attributions and to actually select the artist who you want to attribute. If you want to see more videos like this, please consider supporting me on Patreon because Patreon is a great way to tell me that you want me to continue producing web web comic and content for the internet, stuff that is not something that I sell at conventions. Patreon is a great way to do that. Liking, subscribing, and commenting on my videos is a great way to do it too. You can also check me out. I am Jade the Otter Mage on Twitch. We have a fantastic Discord group and it's a whole lot of fun. I really enjoy hanging out with you guys. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. And thank you so much for checking me out. And thank you so much for joining me here on YouTube today. Have a great one, guys. Bye.